Good morning from our little tiny Tahoe rental. How cute is our little place? Oh my gosh. Really? Happy birthday. What's up? I love you. Love you too. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. You're my favorite person. You're my favorite person. Keep you in perfect, perfect peace. peace. His mind has stayed on him because he trusts trust in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son, son to, con the to condemn the world. Tahoe, we love you. We love you. Jesus, thank you for making this beautiful He has place. made everything beautiful in this time. time. That's right. Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning. Look how pretty it is. This is awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. You can grab some coffee right now, huh? How is it? It's amazing. Really? Yeah. Is that the die for? Uh, so good. Happy birthday. I'm gonna say that 300 times in this vlog. Uh, yeah. Yummy. That's the number one recommended thing on the menu. Oh yeah. I'm surprised you didn't get pancakes. Poached eggs, avocado, and salmon. Yummy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Aw, happy birthday. <laughs> We're off on his birthday hike. We're gonna say birthday about 300 times in this video. Now that's what I call beautiful. Look at that. That's right. It's a good spot, huh? Heck yeah. <laughs> The water is very nice and clear, but no. we're, we're... No, Bo's a chicken. <laughs> I, I am okay. I'm cold. <laughs> and I'm like looking at these kids out here and they've been out there for like hours and I know. I'm... Are you gonna get really close? Get... Here we go. I lost my privilege. <laughs> <laughs> The birthday continues. I kind of love being on vacation because I never wash my hair. Oh, it's so And then I feel like it gets all healthy. <laughs> Is that gross? Sorry. So we're right now, we're headed to DL Bliss State Park. And the last time I was here, it literally looks like Hawaii. It's so beautiful. The, the water is like the, the tropics. It looks so pretty. Pretty beautiful, huh? Wow. I had no idea Tahoe was like this. It's beautiful. Wow, look it's at really this cool. water. It's Dude, this is cool. I'm trying to compare the beauty of this spot to something. I think I'm standing right next to it. This is the best birthday gift ever. Really? Yeah. Birthday. I love your love language. And gift yeah. Gift. yeah. You know, my love language is giving gifts and like trips and like experiences and just giving, you know? My love language is receiving. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we were a match made in heaven, you and I. You're my favorite. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm not that cute. <laughs> I think he's on vacation, right? Look, he knows I'm watching him. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, he's looking all, at me. He's all sketched out. You know what my cute husband wanted to do when we went here? He wanted to take pictures of me. Today has been the best day that I've had, and I'm so happy that I get to spend it with you because you're the best <laughs> gift overall. Aww. The best gift that God gave me is you because you're so sweet and you're the perfect match for me Aww. and I'm so happy that I get to live my life with you and get to share these awesome moments my birthday and many more with you and why did our... I get such a cute husband how did I get such a cute wife <laughs> I love you love you too Thank you're you. so sweet to me <laughs> it's cool because you have that light that's just bursting through the tree right now. I hate the name Fargo. Oh yeah. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on, Bobo. I'm gonna link this game in the description because it's like four dollars and you need to have it in your life. Yes. The scoreboard is close. Dun dun dun. I am in the stretch to win the game. Bo really wants me to vlog this, by the way. Yeah, my victory. <laughs> Uh oh, so that was. Oh, right. I've lost every turn for like the past three turns. Alright, I'm gonna do this with my eyes oh, closed. Oh, stop! You are pathetic! Nothing! I farkled! I farkled! No, oh, I farkled! Oh my gosh! 1500! I do this stuff with my eyes closed. Good morning, everyone! 
It's our last full day in Tahoe before we leave. I had the best time of my life and mm -hmm. I'm excited for today. That breakfast that she made, she's the best. Really? She's the best. Aww. We got coconut creamer in here from Trader Joe's. We brought it from when we were in Oregon. We just put it in our ice chest so it stayed good. We can have that in our coffee. Our, our food's getting cold. Let's pray and eat. Yes. Okay. Day two. Right. It's so nice. Did we read this one? We read John 14. I read Psalms 116. Yeah, it's like a surfing. I'm surfing. Yeah. We're gonna miss Tahoe, huh? Yeah, we missed it. I think we're gonna head down to South Lake Tahoe to get something to eat. Bo and I just went to this place called Simple Bliss Vegan Cafe, I think is what it's called, in Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe. It was the worst food experience that I've ever had. I think that we've ever had. I think that I've ever had in my whole life. Have you guys ever had really bad food, like really bad food experience? Like your food literally never comes out, they forget to put your food in, and then they don't offer you like a refund or like a discount. I'm just curious to know like if it's okay if your service and your food and everything about the experience is so bad that like it's okay for you to go back in and like say, I like I need a refund. I wasn't like sit down, eat your food, and then pay. It was like we paid for the food and then waited for the food, and it took so long. It took it literally an hour. It took an hour to get the food, and it was. I literally had the two tiniest pieces of gluten-free bread that I've ever seen. They were like smaller than the palm, like the palm of my hand. It was smaller than the palm of my hand. One piece of lettuce, one tiny tomato, and like one little thing of avocado on the top. I wouldn't even call it an appetizer. No, it wasn't. It, it was wasn't even, yeah, and like a little, a little, not even a handful of chips, like a little. It wasn't even a handful. It was just like you grab it with your fingertips and throw it on somebody's plate. Yes, literally. And I left still hungry. And I'm starving right now. I'm starving. I had to go and stuff my face full of yogurt just to feel satisfied and happy. It took forever. Uh, wasn't that good. It was. I, I thought I was very nice. I, I'm, yeah. I'm in those situations. I, I'm always really nice. I'm like, yeah. don't worry about it. If you're late, I'm like, you know, it's all good. You yeah, know, we fine. were very patient. Very, very kind. I was very respectful to yeah. those people. All of that being said, the reason that I'm saying this is because I want to hear what you guys do in that situation. Like, do you say something to them? Because in the end, we just said, Thank you, peace. And it was a lot of money. Or have you guys, do you ask for your, like, do you demand your money back? Do you request your money back? Do you complain? Like, do you review on Yelp? Like, what do you do? Like, what do you do? Or do you just let it slide? Like, I don't know, I'm just really, I'm very, I feel like you guys are so smart and very helpful. So I would just really love to hear if you had a terrible food experience, you should leave it in the comments below. To make up for it, we both got a treat because it was terrible. Pete's <coughs> is awesome. They, I got an almond milk blended coffee and it's like cold brew and then almond milk and ice and they blend it all up. And then they actually have coconut milk. Yes, they do. Coconut milk whipped cream revolutionary I've never seen like a standard coffee place have coconut milk I can't even talk right now coconut whipped cream mm. you want to know another really bad food story okay so one time I went to this place and I was eating a salad and um, oh my gosh ew it just grosses me out even thinking about it basically I went to take another bite out of my salad and the thickest hairiest biggest black like it was like a it was like this big and it was like thick it wasn't just like a little like a little skinny spider it was like a thick hairy I could see the hair on it black spider crawled out from my salad I literally okay sorry but I I can't stand spiders they freak me out so bad and I oh my gosh you guys I literally took my plate and I freaked out and I threw it into the, <laughs> they had like a bush, they had like a bush right next to where I was like eating and I threw my salad into the bush. It was just like, a real, I wasn't trying to like make a scene or be annoying or like draw attention to myself and then I realized like what I had done and like everybody was looking at me and I was like, I'm sorry, it was just the biggest, most disgusting spider that I've ever seen and it crawled out right onto my, ugh, like, I was literally gonna like eat it. Oh my gosh, I was so gross. Ooh, I got an, I got a one. What, what, yeah, what's yours? Uh, 
I would eat at Subway all the time for lunch <gasps> after at work. Oh and, yeah. Um, I normally get the usual sandwich. I was gonna take my first bite, but something, uh, I don't know, something caught my eye. I don't know why I even bothered, it was my next bite, and I bothered, and I just looked down, and there was this big green, it was a, bigger than a quarter, um, thick. It was a big, I've never seen a bug like that. It was a big, Ooh. like, lime green, disgusting looking beetle bug, Ew. whatever. And it was huge, and it was like, his arms are sticking out, like looking at me, and it's like flailing <laughs> its arms around, don't eat me. So, yeah, that was my next bite, but luckily I saw it, and then, uh, you know, I'm pretty discreet about it, and uh, yeah, so. I'm pretty sure you've, like, you literally stopped going to I Subway. I love Subway, but after that, it's kind of, um, kind of scarred me a little bit. So we both almost ate huge bugs. Yes. That's disgusting. Right. That is so disgusting. That's how I knew it was you, it was always you. <laughs> Why? Because we both find bugs in our food? Yes, we have so much in common. <laughs> you can leave a comment below of your worst food experience story and your most disgusting food story. We have lots of food stories going on. Let We're at Meeks about. Bay. Yes. And it's beautiful and this is Bo's favorite part so far. The water is very clear. I think we redeemed the day with this, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> good. With this our horrible nice. food story. What did we just do? We went on a photo shoot. We went on the most epic photo shoot ever. Bo is like loving taking photos and it's so cool because I, I mean, that's what I do. Social media, YouTube, everything like that. It's just really cool because he wants to do it. Like I was the one that was like, no, I want to go home. And he was like, no, we're going to take photos in this field. And then it ended up being like one of the highlights of our day. Yeah. It was really fun. Gluten-free pizza. I'm ready for it. So good. Yeah, we have my napkin. We're leaving our little Tahoe rental. I'm so sad. It's pretty early. We woke up early to eat breakfast and pack and get going. But I'm just outside and it's so beautiful this morning. Oh my gosh. There's nothing like mountain air. It feels so like refreshing and good. You ready to go? Yeah. Wow, this place looks brand new. Yeah. <laughs> the coffee. All right, sweet. Nice, look at that. We crushed it. I'm pretty sure we gave you guys a tour, but this place is really, truly super adorable. I don't think you did. Anyway, it's really, truly the perfect size if you're kind of like outdoorsy like Bo and I, where you're not going to be hanging out here too much. Obviously, like if you have a family or something, this is probably not the best option, but... Yeah, Instagram. I know, they have a little Instagram. It's really just the perfect size, and I didn't feel crammed in here, did you? No, we were never really here for yeah. much Yeah, we just slept and then made food and then left, so. But other than that, um, this place was very adorable and we definitely recommend it. And this was a really cute little porch and it was, ugh, this is just the best place. I would probably never stay anywhere else. Wow, it's so beautiful out here this morning. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for this. This is awesome. We got our waters. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have a good time. Gotta have a good sense of humor. Look at all of this glorious parking, Bobo. We learned our lesson when we go when we go to big places like Tahoe. We can't yeah. we can't get somewhere at eleven. Otherwise, no. it's just gonna be impossible. Yeah, this is seven thirty. Everything's open. Yeah. Beautiful morning. Look at the hot air balloon. I bet that's a fun hot air balloon ride. I think I'd be too scared to go on a hot air balloon. Yeah, me too. I don't know if I would ever do that. This is the most beautiful morning. Yes. I'm so happy that we did this. It'll be nice to just stretch our legs and get some fresh air before we drive home. Get my camera. Oh my gosh, it's not even moving. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is how we ought to be. Spend time with Jesus every morning. Talking to the Father. Love it. Oh, the dog! <laughs> Wow, this is very, very beautiful. We saw a praying squirrel. Hallelujah. 
We've got so some cool beautiful. pictures. Bo loves to take pictures. We gotta go for a little bit of a hike. We gotta talk. We gotta Cute. pray. Pray. I'm content. Me too. This is fun. Love you. Love you too. Wow. Hello, waterfall. Beautiful lake. Yes. Oh We've yeah. We've never taken this way before. This is cool. Wow, the boats. Oh my gosh. I love it. Turn left. Wow, this is a very beautiful. I this is I much prefer this over the freeway. Bo is the best. He's so patient and loving and kind. It's very beautiful here. Like I it's just really yeah.